For the fourth year in a row, the Vegas Golden Knights make a trade at the trade deadline. This one not as big as previous years, but it definitely helps us out in our middle six. The Vegas Golden Knights acquire Matthias Janmark from the Chicago Blackhawks. It's a three-team trade, so let's get down to it. The Chicago Blackhawks trade uh, Matthias Janmark to the Sharks, retaining 50% of his salary. Then the Sharks, with that 50% retained, will retain 50% themselves as they send him to Vegas, meaning his cap hit for us is only $562,500. He's still getting paid all all of his salary, it's just from three different teams. In exchange for Matisse Yanmark, uh, the Vegas Golden Knights send a 2021 second round draft pick and a 2022 third round draft pick to the Chicago Blackhawks, that second one being their own, not New Jersey's, which is going to be higher. They send Buffalo's 2022 fifth round draft pick to the Sharks for retaining 50%. As well as they're getting Nick DeSimone, who is a defenseman for the Sharks. Let's talk about Nick DeSimone first because he's the smaller part of this. At 26 years old, he's not exactly a prospect anymore. He's probably going to be in the AHL, the Barracuda, for the rest of the season, according to this tweet from Justin Emerson. He's a right-handed D-man that has never played in the NHL before. He's played uh, five seasons in the AHL. Don't really have to worry about much of him. Matthias Yamark, on the other hand, has one year left in his deal, so it's probably going to just be a rental for the season. His total salary this year is $2 million, and if he performs well, that's he's probably going to want to raise, and we can't really give him that. 28 years old, mostly known as a center, but can also play on the left wing. Having a bit of an off year with the Chicago Blackhawks, uh, especially in the last 10 games, but that shouldn't really be indicative of his stats because with one assist in the last 10 games when he knew he was probably getting traded, it's, it's you know, <laughs> in my opinion, he played well against us in the conference finals last year when he was with Dallas, and then he had really good possession numbers, which is something we really struggle with this season. Most of his goals come from right in front of the net, which is also something that we need improvement from, but He's a really fast player, he's really reliable defensively, and I am excited to see what he and Tuck can do on that third line. Ideally, I would want to keep Nosik there uh, and move Wah down to the fourth line. Reeves is looking to be on LTIR though, so we might not have to pick and choose just yet, uh, but this definitely makes us more solid and uh, with more depth moving in towards the playoff push. It was a bit of an overpayment. Um, I hear that we were in on all because of course we were, but uh, I don't think we could realistically make it work with four teams retaining salary for us to get him. But it's our second year in a row dealing with the Blackhawks and they helped us out with Leonard last year. I'm excited. I think that he's going to improve our bottom six scoring, middle six scoring. I don't know. I, I, I hope that we experiment with where we're placing him in the lines. We can try to move him up with Stone and Bacioretty, but uh, see what he can do there. He, see where he can do in the entire lineup. Uh, we are right now aiming for second, and if Colorado doesn't lose another game the rest of the season, there's no way we can catch him. So it uh, looks like we're going to be playing the Wild in the first round, but in order to prep us for that, I would hope that we could try him out in different in different combinations and see where he has the most chemistry. Got the feeling that we weren't done here, but that was literally the only move we made. There were rumblings of uh, shipping off Cody Glass for Nolan Patrick, a one-for-one, one, and I did not want that to happen. Nolan Patrick, former second overall, it doesn't matter. It doesn't. There were also rumblings of us going after Getzlaff, but I don't think think that we could have with our cap situation. From David Pagnota of the fourth period, told there were legit talks between Anaheim and Vegas on Ryan Getzlaff, who seemed willing to go to Vegas if a deal could be worked out. The asking price, however, didn't jive with the Knights. However, Flurry was traded to Anaheim. <laughs> Not Marc Andre, uh, Hayden Flurry from the Carolina Hurricanes. I just showed my wife this tweet and I uh, wish I got it on film. She just started freaking out. But no, we hold on to every single roster player, only trading picks away, and I think that that was a good thing for us this year. And I hope that Matias Yanmark can uh, improve the rest of his season with us. That's what Alec Martinez did last year, and then look at the player he has been this year. Big questions, what jersey number? He's only been the number 13 in the NHL. Shell. He played with the number 26 in Sweden a couple of years ago, but he was looking to keep the number 13 when he was first interviewed with the Vegas Golden Knights, but uh, we'll see because Tom Masierko has the number 13 currently, so, but I want to know what you guys think. Comment down below what your thoughts are on Yanmark, and comment what emoji you think he's going to be having for VGK Twitter. I like that we're different. I don't like the emojis. <laughs> uh, th that's another video. Anyways, that's going to be it for this trade deadline update. Thank you so much for watching, and have a good night.